Hello and uh, good afternoon. My name is James Darnell and today I'm going to be talking about why I think Tom Brady is the most overhyped football player ever. Um, many of him consider, many people consider him to be the GOAT, which is an acronym for the greatest of all time. Um, and while he is a really good quarterback, he has seven Super Bowl rings, um, passing records, he's still playing into his 40s. Really good player, really good. But I just feel like he's had a lot of things go right for him that necessarily other quarterbacks haven't had the opportunity for. Um, some of these being he's always had Hall of Fame caliber around him. Um, unlike many other quarterbacks, they don't really have that luxury as going in. Many good quarterbacks start off on bad teams, um, you know, and then they've kind of got a rebuild there, and you know, maybe they don't they they have like first year coaches, so it doesn't go as well. It's just really, honestly, it's really unfortunate for some QBs. But like I said, Tom Brady was drafted seventh round, which was really low. Uh, nobody really expected him to do anything except so be a backup for the rest of his life. But he did amazing. He did really good. Um, and then, you know, like I said, props off, give it to him. He's a really good QB, but like I said, things had a lot of things go right. And well, you know, basically, Hall of Fame caliber players, that's been a really good possibility for him. And he's also had probably the greatest football coach to ever coach in the league. Um, well, at least he's top five. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's basically the main points. And I'm going to dive into the Hall of Fame caliber players a little bit more. Um, he's had players like Randy Moss, which is a really good wide receiver. He's in the Hall of Fame now, probably considered at least a top five. He's had Rob Rankowski, which is a future Hall of Famer. He's not in the Hall of Fame yet because he's still playing to this day. But he's also a really insane tight end, probably the best ever play in the league. Um, he's also had other people around him like Ty Law, great cornerback. Er, uh, cornerback, yeah, insane. Uh, before Brady got there, he was an all-pro. Um Made the Pro Bowl several times, um, probably even, and uh, he had a defensive player of the year. Just really good. He holds, I think, the interception record for the Patriots. Um, Hall of Fame caliber player. He's in the Hall of Fame to this day. Um, he's also had, Brady's also been blessed to have uh, two of the best kickers to ever play the game as well, Adam Venteri and Steven Gaskowski. Um, they're very clutch, known for being very clutch. They're also future Hall of Famers, still in the league to this day. Um, but speaking of that, Tom Brady's also had, um, he's also had crazy defenses. Speaking of the Ty Law guy, he's had really good defenses. I don't think he's ever had, um, uh, he's never had a below eighth ranked defense for, well, while winning a Super Bowl. Um, this previous one he won, um, uh, back in 2020, he was on the Buccaneers versus the Chiefs. They absolutely demolished him, like 30 to 10. It was insane, and it was a clinic by the defense. The defense kept swallowing my homes, picking balls. Uh, that defense was ranked sixth that year, and Brady had to do nothing except for sit on the sideline. The defense played so well, it kind of just carried him. He coasted. He didn't really have to try. Overall, it was just really, really insane. Um, and then, let's see. Uh, and then back to the coach. Um Tom Brady has Bill Belichick as a coach. Bill Belichick's all-time record is 321 to 156. He's 30 and I believe six or seven in the postseason, which is insane because the postseason's the playoffs, one and done, you're out. And then the regular season's 290 to 156, which is still really good to be fair. That's insane. Um, but overall, just doubles the winning record, crazy. And then. Bill Belichick's also been known for producing other great QBs. Um, he produced a QB that went to and played in the Super Bowl in 2019. Jimmy Garoppolo plays for the 49ers now. They didn't win that season, but Jimmy Garoppolo has turned out to be a, an amazing first starting QB. Uh, really good. Uh, just crazy QB, you know. But, and I think Brady has to attribute some of his success to Bill Belichick. I mean, um, he could be like some QBs nowadays who get maybe a first-year coach, never coached before, you know, not very good, and it just kind of goes all downhill because, I mean, transitioning from the college to the NFL isn't the most easy thing. So I think that has to be attributed to at least some of Tom Brady's success. Um, and then also Brady, he just he got very lucky as well because, like I said, he was supposed to be a, a bench. He's supposed to ride the bench the entire 
his entire career, but the starting guy got injured in a game. Tom Brady went in. He played pretty well, so I'll give that to him. He's a good QB. But, uh, yeah, he just I think there's just a lot of things that went right for Brady for him to be able to do what he does. And then, you know, back to back to the Buccaneers, them winning a couple years ago. He just had uh, he had players come from other teams that were really good just because, you know, he has that such attributed success with him from winning throughout the years with him and Belichick and just in amazing defenses. I mean, it's just, I don't know, you know. I uh, Like I said, I think he's a really good QB overall, but I do think he's overhyped. And I think what it means to be the GOAT personally for me is making something out of nothing, you know. And I feel like he's always had at least something. He's always had, you know, a crazy team no matter what. But overall, I, like I said, I think I think Brady's a good QB, but I think he is very overhyped, and I think there are better GOATs out there to be considered. Thank you. Have a great rest of the day.